My tip is about using a zero width space and why you might want to do so. I want to create a type specimen sheet. I have my alphabet. I want my text to fill my page. As I increase the size of the type, it becomes hyphenated. I don't want hyphenation. If I turn off hyphenation, it becomes overset. What I need to do is come to find change and then add in a zero width space between every character. I have saved this query because a zero width space, a Unicode character is not available on the insert white space menu where you would expect to find it. This is the code for a zero width space. So I'm going to run that query. Now I can size up my type and we don't have any hyphenation and the text does not become overset. Interestingly, there is another approach. You could use a regular word space and you can set the width of that work, word space to 0%. For lovers of InDesign trivia, this is ever so slightly wider than a zero width space. You can see here that the J fits on the end of the first line, whereas here it does not. I can't explain why that is the case. Here is a creative use of a zero width space. I want to create a type treatment like these book covers that I have on my pasteboard. So first of all, let's run that find change to add in the zero width space between every character. In addition, I'm going to do three other things. I want the text to be fully justified horizontally, fully justified vertically, and you can see the height of my text frame. And I want to set the auto leading, I'm using auto leading to 90%. Now, with the text selected, I can just increase the size of it to inhabit my page, not having to worry about any hyphenation or the text becoming overset. Well, I hope you like this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.